ladies, I just wanted to do a small, really small actually, uh, haul from Walmart and Walgreens. I'll start off with Walgreens because there's only a couple from there that I haven't uh, shown you lately that I've gotten. Okay, so I'm really sorry for the lighting quality. I'm trying to find the locations that are kind of somewhat better. Let me try turning off one of these lights. That might actually make it up better, I guess. Okay, so, excuse the, like, wackiness. It's, like, one in the morning, and I'm really bored. So, I got some Wet n' Wild, because I am addicted to Wet n' Wild. I should probably do a Wet n' Wild thing, too, but I've got, like, five videos ready for tonight. I'm going to try and change my top so it doesn't look so washed out. But I am wearing a tank top underneath. Okay. I'm sorry, let me get this started. I got Silent Treatment. And I'll actually open it up for you. Looks like this. I actually really like the eyelid color. It looks like this. It's really pretty purpley gray. And then this is the crease color. It's like a sparkly charcoal. And then this is the eye bone color. They're really pretty colors. Okay. And then, let me wipe my hand off there. I got Sweet as Candy. This one I don't like as much, but here's the eyelid color. It's a really pearly, satiny white, or I'm sorry, pink. And this is the middle color, the crease color, and the eye bone color. It's kind of really chalky and I really don't like it. It's really matte, but it's really chalky. Um, and that's it from Walgreens. From Walmart, I got the Rev1 um, Eye Enhancer Cream Shadows in Not Just Nude 710. And this is the new one with the mirror on the inside. And actually, the colors, the, like that. So, I've seen a lot of this on YouTube, so I had to get it. Um, I got the Color Stay Eye Concealer uh, with SPF. 15. I'm not too sure about this. I've actually got it. It it works okay, I guess. But I've got really intense, like, black dark circles. And it's really stressful to see them all the time and not have, can't do anything about it. Sometimes throughout the day it looks worse. And that's what it looks like without being blended in. And uh, just blend it into my hand here and it completely kind of fades away into my hand and it was right here so it blends in nicely to my hand but I like the black circles it just doesn't do good for I also I'm trying the skin renew anti-dark circle roller and it's tinted um, I have an obsession with smelling things but this smells really good it smells clean and this just rolls on like this and it's really sheer it says and just pat it in lightly until it disappears and it looks like this it's just the uh, Garnier roll up and I also have I'm wearing it right now on my lips it's really dark but I um, put it on sparingly because it is so dark and it's called Burgundy and it's a luster and it's in the um, shade 540 Let's see if it'll focus there and it's really really dark but it's beautiful I really love it um, I'll swatch it for you And there's the swatch. Actually, I'll do a better one for you. There. There's the swatch. If I... Oh, 
Ooh, my computer turned off. If I put it on, like, without using it sparingly, it still doesn't look that bad. Because of my skin tone. I have an olive skin tone, undertone. It doesn't look that bad, but I would prefer not to be so dark. So I just use it really lightly and somewhat sparingly. But right now, I need to find a tissue and blot, and I'll have another video up for you probably tonight. And thank you guys for watching this little haul. <laughs> and um, leave some feedback down if you want to see um, any videos or um, have any requests because I'm out of ideas. And... You guys know what you want to see, so let me know.